Linda's Pantry and today I'm going to do a tutorial explanation for you for how I typically restore or to take a piece of furniture that in this case was dated and not so pretty. Dated and um, you know well used and just needs new life but it's a solid wood piece of Thomasville furniture. So there's no reason to throw it away. Um, so I'm going to tell you how I typically do this. And that is I take all the hardware off and then I wash the piece down with something that has a little bit of a degreaser in it, like simple green or something like that. So I can get all the dirt off, all the dust out of the, you know, the cracks and stuff like that that would keep your paint from adhering really well. And then I am, I pick out my chalk paint and this one, I ended up having to darken it three different times because I just wasn't happy with how light the color was. And it, you know, you're going to be in the store and the lighting is way different than in your living room. So, um, I, I, I went and had to have it darkened a couple times, but now I think I've got it. It's a really pretty smoky gray. Shotzi, she's protecting me. She must see somebody walking by. So it's a real pretty smoky gray. It looks a little bluer on camera, I think, than it really is in person or in this lighting. It's gonna tie everything in together, the blue and the pillows and the carpet and, um, and the entryway, it'll pull it all together. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish. I've got the sides of these drawers to paint and there's four more drawers over there and the back sides of these doors, which I bet these doors weigh 10 pounds a piece. And you can still see the wood grain on here. It's pretty cool. Now I have not decided what kind of finish I'm gonna put on it. I may <clears throat> invest a little bit of time and effort and do a crackle finish, which I really appreciate when I see it done. So um, I might just do that. But I'm gonna get ready and you guys can watch me finish this paint job. All right, guys, if you like this, this kind of stuff, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. Okay, so now I've finished all the drawers and the doors and everything is finished. Um, it's just got to dry. It usually only takes chalk paint about 20 minutes to dry, um, but I'm going to take advantage of this time and go ahead and go down to the hardware where they carry the Amy Howard chalk paint. And I'll leave a link below for Amy Howard's products. You can click through that link and put in a search bar what you're looking for. Um, chalk paint, the, the sealer, the matte sealer is what I like to use, or the, the, the waxes. You can do the antique wax and then seal over it or just leave it waxed. Um, know that when you wax a piece of furniture, you're probably gonna have to re-wax it every once in a while. So, and waxing is a lot of labor. This, I won't be waxing it. It would end up turning it a kind of a, a dirty looking, almost, on the green side, like a gunmetal blue. Um, this looks much bluer to me through the lens of the camera than it really is. It's a very pretty smoky color. So um, I'm gonna go get see about maybe getting a crackle finish. And if I decide to do the crackle, then we'll do the process together. So, um, and then I will be putting this together, pretty much uh, getting it back together so it's out of my way. Uh, before this video is done. So we'll put the doors back on. Okay guys, so now <laughs> I've got everything has been painted, everything has been distressed. And what I mean by distressed is I take sandpaper and, to, and each drawer is gonna be a little bit different as well as the um, 
the top of the uh, cabinet and the doors. But I take it and take some sandpaper and distress it. And then, and I know the sun is shining in here pretty good, but, um, and then it's ready for top coat. I vacuum it off really good to get all that dust off of it. And now I'm ready to top coat the piece. And so, simple. I use an Amy Howard's matte finish top coat. So it's really easy to use. It's very forgiving and it will darken the piece as soon as you get it on there. You start seeing it darken up. So you want to make sure you get in every nook and cranny and um, don't leave any of it pool or get to where it would have a, a drip because that's not, that's not what you want. So it's a pretty thin coat. So I'm going to do this whole thing and you're going to see, in fact, I'll bring this back over so you can see how much it darkens it. Um, just as soon as you put it on there, you can see it. And it, it doesn't really change a whole lot as it dries. It doesn't, it doesn't lighten back up. But it does give it a really pretty, pretty sheen. And this brush needs some conditioning, but so I've got half of it done. And you can see it's a little bit darker than this side. All right, guys. So we're gonna get this all done, and I'll be back. Okay, guys. So I am done with the um, with all the drawers, the 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 doors the framework and I'm getting ready to put everything in and I will um, then do the top. So I appreciate you stopping by. I hope that if you like this sort of stuff, you give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you can get notified whenever I upload. And I've got a bunch of links down there. I'll have a link to Amy Howard's paints and um, you can shop from there if there's a particular color or um, you know, the top coats, that kind of thing. And then um, I've got a couple other links you might be interested down below as well. So I can't wait to see you next time for maybe a delicious recipe and or another piece of furniture restoration. And tomorrow, when I get all the hardware on and everything is done, I'm going to bring you back so you get to see the finished product tomorrow. All right, we'll see you then. Bye! Bye.